first is the the actual title of this show here. Mm. Finally! <laughs> Finally! <laughs> I'm new to this channel! They didn't tell me Aladdin was coming on. I subscribed to hear about Batman, Batman villains! villains. Mm. All right. So Batman villains. <laughs> um, it's uh it's there's it's a possibility that uh in, look before Pattinson even signs on if he does sign on they want to lock down some villains mm. I think you got to go with the Riddler man yeah you got to go with the Riddler I mean why do you think you've got to go with the Riddler I think the Riddler could be a fun kind of crime drama to where and and be, because of the fact that we haven't really explored all the way yet of Batman being a detective right and let, let's have this version Pattinson version be like a full on the Batman detective and going after who the guy who sets up the riddles and makes it like you know you got to you got to solve you got to solve this case yeah. like, 100% it could be fun yeah. right and that's what Reeve said he wants to go back to and make this a true detective yeah they're going to get I, they're going to do penguin they're going to do Josh they're, 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 no, they're like doing that. penguin oh. but the, yeah so don't THR like is saying yeah. it's uh, it's penguin and catwoman mm -hmm. so i catwoman again yeah Come on. Okay, man. so huh. I know I'm in a minority on this one, and I, this is kind of like when I started working here and I found out you guys didn't like the prequels, is I like Batman Forever way more than I like Batman Returns. Like, I'm not a Batman Returns fan at all. I mean, I'm with you on that, too. Um, and I love what? Michael Keaton. Yeah. is my favorite. Is my That's... favorite Batman all time. Michael Keaton, without a doubt, is the best Batman. Doreen has kicked opinion. her television, broke yeah. her foot. I can't. I, I'm going to kick my television. Yeah. It's Batman Forever over Batman Returns? Yes. yes. Batman Returns becomes a becomes a creepy Tim Burton movie and yeah. it forgets it's to be that. You Batman. guys are not yeah. the only people to say that, though. Yeah. You're not okay, alone. No, I no. don't feel that way, but you're not alone. Sure. Yeah. The, the, the Michelle Pfeiffer Keaton stuff is great. It's great. And like the stuff at the end was really cool, but it, it turns into a weird Tim Burton yeah, movie I'm and not, stops being a Batman I'm movie. Yeah, I hate Batman, Batman Returns. Wow. But stupid Batman fish. Forever, though. What, what, that, that, that turns into a, it's a just shit a movie. Too. No, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I'm saying. Is that I think when. He drives up a building. Which is awesome. <laughs> he, the, the thing with why Batman. Why do you do that? I, I, what am I going to do? Hold it in? Yes. But into On the burp? mic? It's it's, you, you? Were, you were facing Josh. It was that and way. then you had to burp, so you turned into the mic. It was that way. It was like towards my face. I think we know why. So let it go. For this. Uh, <laughs> he got it. Yeah, yeah. I give it to him, don't yeah. I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing. I think, <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah. I think that when <laughs> he's just Edward Nigma. Yeah. That is way more fun than when he turns into like I've got a cane and, I'm, and a onesie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the stuff I mean? with, and the stuff with Tommy Lee Jones was terrible. Oh, it's terrible. But, but Drew Barrymore looked we, amazing in that movie. Sure. Oh my god. So we just had a live action version of him <gasps> on, it's true. on Gotham, mm -hmm. uh, and uh -huh. what was interesting is that he was amazing. However, Enigma was more. They made him into more like Two Face than Riddler. Like a lot of okay. his yeah. um, attributes were very similar, and so people really liked the character. The people who did like Gotham, but it wasn't exactly Riddler. So I'm ready for a Riddler as well, because yeah. uh, it's been a minute, and I think that that would be great. I don't think it's what we're getting. No, I don't either. I think, and cat, uh, I think cat that, is Penguin. I think Penguin is a cool choice as well. Uh, and I think that's fine. And yeah. I don't have as big of an issue with C Catwoman being there as other people do. Uh, <laughs> she's a badass character yeah. who can be done really well. And just as of thus far, people are annoyed with how she's been interpreted. But it doesn't I mean that like this Michelle won't be a great Pfeiffer. version. Mich I liked Anne Hathaway. Yeah, uh, I did too. Yeah. I, Anne Hathaway. You know what I mean, but 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 my problem is not that we haven't had good iterations. I think we have. I thought Michelle Pfeiffer was great. I thought Anne Hathaway was great. The problem is that there's just done so many. We had the stupid retreads. Just it's yeah, a retreads. stupid done, Halle Berry we've done movie. Done more Batman's. Well, yeah, that's but true. Batman, is, Batman the is, the, is the movie. So you, when you make the decision to make the movie, you, you know that, just, that you've got to accept that. But, I'm just saying. Yeah. I think you have to accept. All characters, then. If you're okay with how many times we've done Batman, then why aren't you okay with how many times we've done Catwoman? I think because there's so many more there's people so many more villains. to it's take. It's not like 60 Batman. There's, there's more people to choose inside of that universe that they, that they could have them go up against. I mean, because it's but like, you want But you want Riddler. Yeah, Riddler's only been once. It's been Jim Carrey, you know? In the movies. In the movies. Something. In the movies. I don't pay attention to... I didn't see... The um, show. Yeah. I, I think that even if somebody's done, been done once as opposed to, what, three times... Yeah. You're saying that the three times has just been way too many times for is you it guys. Three or four. Well, oh, uh, three? over three move like three basically two movie franchises. We've done it three times plus yeah. a, a standalone. How many times have we done Joker? That's right. Joker's I mean, another yeah. one too. But Joker is so uh, It's the know. iconic one. I I I understand why they would bring her. I I really do. And I, and and Penguin She's by so the way. Penguin was only once yeah. done once. Yeah. So I get why I just I'm not excited and I like Josh Gad. I'm just not excited about him as the Penguin. I get that. Hmm. She 
I think that he would make a great penguin. So yeah. we're on different pages yeah. there. But she is so intrinsic to Batman's character and is not straight a villain. She's a, What's that? a villainous anti hero. Andy, Andy Circus is a penguin? Oh. Is that something? It's just something that people want. Oh, I want it. That's that's a good one. I, he would make an excellent penguin. Yes, yes, you just changed my mind. Now I want the penguin. But I think that the Josh Gad one's probably probably more more. Like, well, he's just been teasing on off, Twitter, yeah. right? So he probably yeah. is actually signed wanting on. the role. No, yeah, I don't mind. He's doing the Josh Gad for Jeopardy thing. Yeah, for Josh Gad for penguin. I'm going to reach out to and, Matt Reeves. And what about this though? There was remember Gotham City Sirens? Yes, I do. Okay, so there was which rumored, turns into Birds of Prey. Right. It was rumored that Catwoman would appear. So if Catwoman's in this movie, don't you think that they're setting her up for this? So what they were thinking was after the Birds of Prey film, they're going to do a Gotham City Sirens right. movie, which this would make sense. They're holding back a lot of the main uh, bad women. Where's yeah. Vicky Vale? Well, I think Vicky Vale only became super popular because Kim Basinger was so hot. Yeah, it's not. I mean, that's well said. My that was my my dad's yeah. celebrity crush. Yeah, she was really, really yeah. Oh, my yeah. dad too. Sybil yeah. Shepherd and Kim Basinger back in the day. Oh my god! I don't know if there's any sexier women than those two. <laughs> it was crazy. Okay, now we're now we're getting out of the. <laughs> now we're here. We're, yeah, not, we're out of it. Um, also, I um, was curious uh, what Nightwing story Mina was talking about. That I'm. I was in the chat, yeah, and a lot of people I'm not were familiar wondering with. I wonder if, if it was uh, Batman Beyond that mm, was that storyline. Okay. I'm not sure. Not sure either. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if it. Hey, Alex. I don't know if it fully. Ha- Does Alex have something to say? Well, yeah, uh, okay. I think he had some. <laughs> I gotta tell you before it. before you start talking. Uh, is that his new interjection? Uh, I like it. Cody. I I I always love you, but that is you you, you just hit a slam dunk, buddy. You yeah. just you just hit a slam dunk with that one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you're really great. You just threw a slam dunk right into the into the tube. All right, go ahead, Alex. Yeah. So Nightwing is actually um, Dick Grayson, who was the first yes. Robin. The second Robin is the one that was killed by the Joker and turns into Red Hood. Yeah, right. that, that's what I was. So uh, he has signals crossed a little bit. A little bit, uh, but that was fine. You know, there's been so many right. iterations, and I didn't think it was appropriate to say on air. Right. And he said he wasn't a big comic fan afterwards anyway. Yeah. So just... Although I do actually think he would make a great Nightwing. Yeah. Uh, he was accurate on that. I think he would be really right. strong there. The um, other kid that would be good is a kid from um, uh, Cobra Kai. Joe Carnahan. Oh. No, uh, who who is it, Alex? Oh, Tim Miguel. Drake? Or who, what? Friends call me John Paul. Not John Paul oh. Jones. <laughs> Definitely. Oh, be... So you can call me John Paul Jones? No, no one is calling call... you John is Paul Jones. you call him Nightwing? Stop it. Mm, maybe okay. we should call him... Like if we were his friends, what we call? Yeah, well, I don't know what we're gonna call him, but you know what I'll tell you. Yeah, we look. We had that joke. It was good. Cody was done. The joke was going good. We had it. We were there. We almost had it, and then oh, the fucking dog got the bacon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Can't um, help that. Though. No, can't. Yeah, no. can't help that. All right. So that's the, that's the villains. Who do you guys think should should be the villains? Do you think is there it should like be anybody the... else in the comics that nobody talks about that there could be somebody Scarecrow other than Joker? Scarecrow. We've done. I mean, Batman yeah. There's or there's tons. Mister Freeze. Mister Freeze. There's because it was so it was done. You know, in that corny way. Who's Calendar Man? I'm saying no. Oh, Calendar Man would be great, and Hush would be great. Okay. But the Hush is not what they're doing. No, I no. know. So what's I, Hush I hope do? sooner or later they get it. What the hell's Kite Man? Kite Man? Is that no? Who's Kite Man? It's this is the George. Stains the thing. Your favorite animal is a frog. Frog is wrong. Yeah. Kite man is wrong. A kite, kite man. man? He is a kite. That's basically, he's just, he's, he's, what? Uh, what is that? That's not real. Uh, no, it is real, really? I think, but I don't, I'm not familiar with Kite Man. Zoom in for the Kite Man is a fictional supervillain. He doesn't look like a supervillain. He's got a kite. What is, he, what is he, just an angry kid on a beach no, trying no. to mess with your stuff when his Okay, kite... first in Pier and Batman uh, 133. Oh, all right, Kite Man. I'm blind, kite so I can't man? read the rest. I don't think is can... Alex trying to get us to like Kite Man? I don't think that you can sell Kite Man and get him s- taken seriously. No. Who's your villain in this one? Kite, kite man. man. And what does he do? He kite. He is kite. He's gonna fly kites in the park. You know what he's gonna oh, yeah. do? He's going to be able to take your kids away because mm-hmm. he's got a whole bunch of kites. Because he's he's got kites flying. It's like Balloon Man. Right. He's big and helium. I'm the Joker. I'm k- Kite Man. Kite Man. This was like. I mean, my goodness, how this got look passed. At his, look at his, it says, this is this is a frame. Kite Man. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. He's got jewels in his hands. Okay. Yeah. I have to look up. He just looks like a paraglider, yeah. whatever you call it. What does, what does he do? Is this he how? Flies he flies around on kites. kites. Flies a kite. His name is Kite Man. Steals kites from Target. 
He flies in his kite. He when he lands, he yeah. buys another kite to target, right. like you that's said, right. yeah. and then he flies away. He steals them. From He's a villain. He, but here's the thing that's tough about Kite Man is he can only fly if somebody runs holding a string with him first. Yeah. I swear then, to God, if we have in the comments people pissed off over Kite Man, I'm, I'm not, unbelievable. I mean, I quit. Unbelievable. It's, I quit. Kite Man. Kite Hell man. yeah. Uh, Charles Chuck Brown is a man who armed himself with kite weapons to be used to commit crimes. He flies right. with a big kite strapped to him. He also uses a barrage of kites to kites. overwhelm his enemies. And I was the one that was saying we don't need another Catwoman. He Give is, me Catwoman <laughs> over he Kite is, Man. He has run afoul of Batman, Who are uh, you? Robin, Hawkman, and Hawkgirl Who are on you? different uh, occasions. I'm Kite Man. Okay, I want to see this in the next Batman. Kite Man shows up and we get Kite an Indiana man. Jones moment where he goes and just pulls out a <laughs> battering and throws it in his face. Kite Man. Kite man. Even if they just called him Kite would be more uh, uh, me, intimidating. Hey, so kite man. What would you say your superpower is? Uh, look at my back. I have a kite there. So uh, <laughs> I got it. I got it. Oh, the wind is coming in my back. I'll you give, beat I'll me, I'll give Batman. a string windy. to my niece and she can take him on a roll. Not a windy day, Batman. You've defeated me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me throw some names out there and you guys tell me if you guys would rather these villains, okay? Anyone over Kite Man. Yeah. All right. Is Kite, uh, is kite Man in there? Would you rather see Bane again? One. Bane? Maybe, but not too soon. No. Not right away. Not right now. Would nah. you rather see no. Scarecrow? Yes. Not right now. No. No, we just saw him for three movies. No. <laughs> Would you rather see Joker again? Not right either, now. Either Jared if jo- Leto if, or... If, jo- if Joaquin. If Joaquin Phoenix comes in, maybe. <laughs> Joaquin, is actually... Joaquin is actually the, the other man who plays Kite Man. Just, Kite Man is Joaquin. <laughs> and Joaquin plays the Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hello, Kite Man. Uh, of the rest of these, I don't think you guys are going to care about. Anyone Clayface, over, Deadshot, Clayface over matter. Kite Man. Really? Yes. Yeah. Clayface over Kite Man? Totally. Clayface sounds you really, intimidating. You really Clayface don't like is a good, yeah, is Clayface a great is a bomb but, Yeah, Batman villain. Yeah. What? Yeah. Clayface. Black Mask would have been cool, but they're doing that for uh, yeah. Birds of Prey. Uh, but still right. sound, but they can still do that. Hugo Strange. Right. Uh-huh. Again, yes. Those Killer Croc. Sounds intimidating. Great. All, Poison all intimidating. Ivy? Intimidating. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm... Kite man. Are you are you telling me that if you were let's just say you stepped out, you're taking your daughter to school, right. okay? It's a nice Thursday morning, sun is shining, birds are chirping. All of a sudden, you hear. And kite man shows up. Yeah, you kite know what I would man? do? I wouldn't even call the cops. I'd call the security guards at the school to take him away because okay, they could take him away. I want to make sure we're yeah, okay. secu- just call the hall monitor. That's what I'm yeah, saying. He's fine. Yeah, anybody can take out kite man. You, one of these hey. days, you guys are gonna regret saying all this. Right? You think he's gonna be like how Aquaman was? Because Aquaman was a joke for a long time. No, no, I'm just saying he might. Don't say he might come get you guys. He's still kite man. pretty much a joke if you read that script before they actually went into production. Well, the, the billion dollars it made would probably see a little uh, different. Yeah. I, uh, I, listen, and I'm not arguing the money made. Yeah. I'm just arguing the actual dialogue. Who's this? In the condiment movie. King? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> that's not real. No, that Batman villain? A, a Batman villain? Bill- the Condiment King? That's a real one. And Kite Man? Yeah. Are you joking me? This is a movie. Condiment uh, no, wait, King, I know. No, wait, Condiment King? I so you got, so you've got Kite Man who's going to meet you at the beach because that's when he's the most powerful. But, and then the Condiment King is going to help you out with your hot dog. Yeah, yes. he was in Lego Batman. That is true. Okay. He's, he's, he debuted in, in, in Lego. Okay. All right, that's fine. All right. Con- <laughs> but hold on. You, you made no, a really good point. No, I don't think point. he debuted in Lego. I think he was... Uh, oh, he's in the comics. Yeah. Get out of here. Condiment King? Christian, mm. who gets okay? Who, who who doesn't get fired after the? Uh, after Bruce they... Tim and Paul Dini created <laughs> there's, him. There's so. ketchup name, on the floor. His name is Michael Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Mitchell Mitchell Mayo. Oh, Mitchell Mayo. <laughs> Mitchell Mayo, and he's the condiment king. I mean, is him and Eddie Froman hang out? <laughs> Ridiculous. Christian, <laughs> Kevin Ketchup. <laughs> Batman once referred to him as the mustard man. <laughs> I mean, come on. Is the mustard poisonous? Is the ketchup like acid? Okay, you go to the beach. Kite man's out there. He's flying around. Right. You go to the boardwalk. You want a hot dog or a corn dog? Maybe some you nachos. Call the Call the king. Yeah. Well, at least he's a king. Yes. Because the stupid I, ass honestly, kite man is just a man. Condiment King, a great name for a restaurant, but also yeah. more intimidating than Kite Man as right. far I, as villains I go. I don't believe, you. if I am remembering correctly, I don't believe Condiment King is actually a king. He's a king of the condiments. Yeah. He's a, he's we didn't think he was an actual <laughs> king. We said at least he's a king. Yeah, he's the king of the condiments. King Christian's the king of fart noises. But he's not an actual king. There you go. Riley's the king of phone rage. You don't see he's actually wearing a crown. Roxy's the king, queen of getting lost. You're not an actual queen. The queen of that, being lost. Hey, excuse you. Excuse, yeah. oh, okay. Well, sorry. the condiments Slay. though come to life, and they they worship the condiment king. So, oh, wow, this is some pretty shitty villains. 
Condiment King Let's and Let's all Kiteman. go to the movies. And it's just the condiments Let's coming alive. Right, movies. killing yes, everybody. Yes. Condiment King. I've got you now, Batman. <laughs> Take me away, Kite Man. And Please. for a real twist, vegan A's. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Dijon? Ooh, yeah. spicy. Unbelievable. The mustard man. Right. What do you chance? Do you have any gray poupon? Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course I do. On and my I'm, kite. Going, I'm going to kill the host of Kalila Live because he called Scorchies torchies, and now I will kill him with hot sauce. <laughs>